Namaste. I am Dr. Jayarajan. I am the Chief Medical Officer of Ayurveda Gram, an internationally reputed Ayurvedic healing center in Bangalore, India, run by Kerala Ayurveda. I have been practicing Ayurveda for more than 15 years. I have been traveling across the world to spread the message of Ayurveda. Today I would like to discuss with you globally most prevalent or the most serious global health concern metabolism and metabolic disorders. Ayurveda considers digestion and metabolism as the key physiological function to keep up good health. That is why in many Ayurvedic classical texts it is mentioned that your digestive strength, your metabolic strength if your body. That is why Ayurveda considered optimal digestion and metabolism as the key feature of a healthy person. Let us see what is digestion and what is metabolism according to the Ayurvedic uh, concepts. Digestion is nothing but cooking. In kitchen we use flame to cook but in the, in the stomach, intestine, it is the acids and other secretions that cooks the food and changing into the, the nutrients, separating into the absorbable and utilizable form of the food. So the activity of converting the gross food molecules into simple nutrient molecule is the gut level digestion. And the fire working there are the secretion from mouth till the lower intestine. There are acids and pepsins and salivary amylases from the saliva. So the process of digestion, gut level digestion, is converting the gross food molecules into absorbable and utilizable form of nutrients. Ayurvedically, the digestion will not stop there. Actually, it is the first part of your digestion. The second part of the digestion is utilization of this nutrients, absorbed nutrients, for the nourishment of tissues. And finally, when all the tissues are well nourished, the optimal glow of strength of all the tissue is termed as OGES is nothing but the immune strength, the resistance, the glow or the aura. So digestion in Ayurveda encompasses the entire process of the gut level digestion, absorption, absorption utilization of food for proper tissue nourishment and finally into optimal energy. So that means it covers the entire digestion and metabolism. Now we know that there are lot of most prevalent metabolic issues growing globally. The number of obese patients the number of high cholesterol uh, patients, the number of diabetes, it is increasing like anything. Now the, the most important conditions coming out from the deranged digestion and metabolism are obesity, high cholesterol, diabetes, then 
the gout according to ayurveda even the autoimmune disorders now how it happens what is the basic reason for getting into this metabolic disorders ayurveda explains very well about this reasons as the food and lifestyle in fact these are the only two controllable reasons for health and disease when you follow good food and good uh, routines lifestyle you are traveling towards health otherwise you are leading to certain health problems there are lot of uncontrollable reasons like a seasonal change or a earthquake or those things but for an individual the two controllable reasons are the food and lifestyle now food when we talk about food there are mainly three points to be kept in mind one is what to eat second is how much to eat third when to eat the most important among these three what how much and when the most important is when to eat and globally there is no awareness about this this factor people are aware about how much protein required how much vitamin required how much carbohydrate required but there is no the real awareness about how important the timing of food it is very simple and very very logical see in any dynamic system our body is a dynamic system lot of things are going in it is getting converted and lot of things are getting regenerated and going out it is a fluid system anabolism catabolism regeneration degeneration so it is a dynamic system so if you are looking for a balance in a dynamic system cyclic rhythm is the only way to attain that now we know that health is nothing but the balance the balance of bodily functions the balance of tissue nourishment the balance of digestion and metabolism balanced and pleasant mind sense organ and the soul all these put together that equilibrium or balance is the health so when we look at health as the balance of all these factors the cyclic rhythm is the key the cyclic rhythm means when you sleep when you eat when you do specific activities it is like a biological cycle the same thing sun rises in the morning sets in the evening there is a cyclic rhythm and our body is set our system is set in such a way that night time is for sleep and day time is for activities and this is set since generations if you are following that tuning then automatically everything will happen and this theory is not only true in human system you take any dynamic system if you feel that it is stable the reason will be the cyclic rhythm as an example you take the grossest uh level of uh, solar system each planet is moving sun itself is moving but still we feel that solar system is stable only because of its cyclic rhythm we know that 365 days one year earth will complete the one rotation around sun so the existence or the balance or the stability of the solar system is in its cyclic rhythm now you take the smallest particle the smallest particle of a substance is the atom the existence of an atom 
we identify atom as a stable particle of a particular element. The existence of that is nothing but the cyclic rhythm of the electrons around the nucleus of that atom. There is a specific orbit, specific rhythm and frequency. You see, anything in this cosmos is having a similarity in its functions. That is why Ayurveda became identified as one of the most relevant holistic healing sciences and it is the concept is encompassing. So coming back to the, the digestion and metabolism, eating in correct timing is the most important factor more than what you eat and how much you eat. Now let us see how it is important. For a trial, you eat your breakfast say 8 o'clock every day morning. For 20 days, you are eating at the breakfast at 8 o'clock every day for 20 days. 21st day, morning, 8 o'clock, you will feel like eating something. You know why? By the 20 days of practice, your system got used to it. So your system is expecting that 8 o'clock the raw material will come. The digestive system is ready to receive the food. The metabolic system is ready to utilize the food. So what will happen? Proper digestion, proper absorption and proper utilization. Metabolism is nothing but the proper utilization of the food and nutrients what you eat. How it is getting utilized? Three ways. For energy, for tissue nourishment, and storage for crisis management. The food what we are eating, a particular person is getting utilized immediately as energy. Glucose directly changing into ATP, the energy. Main utilization is tissue nourishment. The apple we eat, it has to change to our muscles and our hair and our skin, teeth, bone, all the tissues. So food is getting converted into tissues. That is the second main utilization you know after using for energy and the tissue nourishment whatever left out balance it will go and deposit as fat for crisis management so when you eat in correct timing every day a correct pattern will make your system optimally aware about the, the timing since the system is ready to receive absorb and utilize most of the food will get utilized for your energy and tissue nourishment. The chance of balance is very, very less. If it is there also, it will be minimal. So what will happen? Your tissues will get nourished. You will be strong, but you will never be bulky because there is no fat to deposit. Now you take the total opposite scenario. One person on a holiday slept up to 11, 11.30, had a brunch. One day couldn't take breakfast, was in a hurry. One day at 8 o'clock, if there is no pattern, your system will not know when the food is going to come. Sometime you may feel hungry, sometime you may eat, sometime it may get absorbed. But the utilization will not be proper. So finally, the major chunk will get unutilized. And unutilized food, only one option, go and deposit as fat. What is the outcome? Your strength will come down because tissue nourishment is not happening. But your bulk will go high because the storage. So it's very, very important to keep up good timing for food. That is the main. The second point is what you eat. It is actually a whole grain food. Take it as a whole food, not as refined form. So, and the third point is how much to take. That depends upon your digestion, how much you can digest. Thank you.